Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are checking out the Fat Duck, which is a tutorial flying boat. Yeah, you heard that right, it's a tutorial flying boat. Weird. So, this thing right here was actually built by Tales, uh, who actually builds really, really awesome planes, and this is a tutorial boat. So, essentially, this, if we take it into the workbench, you can have a little look around this thing, and you can see a bunch of things, uh, and how he does things, which is actually pretty awesome, because we got a fuel tank right here, it's all made of simple components, and it all just looks pretty cool. There are a few microcontrollers, like this one right here, um, and also this one down here, however... If you guys want to edit this thing and make it your own, um, you totally can. He's allowing you to do that, which is awesome. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take off in this thing. We're then going to paint it, because why not? And um, yeah, we'll just have a little bit of a fun time. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on board and go to the back. There is no, like, modded windows or anything like that on this thing. I don't believe any of it's actually been modded at all, uh, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, as soon as you come in, you've got a bunch of seats right here if you go downstairs. Uh, you've got nothing at the moment, but uh, you can obviously change this to something if you wanted to. Anyway, go back upstairs and get in the pilot seat. Right here we've got a throttle, we've got a battery, and we've got the engines. As soon as you turn the engines on, uh, the backlights actually come on, which is awesome, and uh, it's ready to go. <laughs> it is actually ready to go, so full throttle, and uh, we'll take off, and it'll be awesome. Here we go, you ready? Let's go ahead and get away from the shore, and we should be able to pull up. And it'll take off. Meow. There we go. Awesome. That's really cool. Okay, so I've shoved on the stabilizer and it is actually flying fine. Our speed is in meters per second. We're going 66. That's actually pretty cool. And everything else actually seems a-okay. Our fuel is down there. Um, and our fuel tanks are back there. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, um, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this thing. Uh, if you wanted to add wheels so that it could land on land, I'm assuming that you could do that. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have a little look, see if there's a mission that we can do. I don't know if this is a mission we can actually do. What is this? Transport is required for passengers and their cargo. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually do that. I don't know if it's something we can do, but um, we'll check. Okay, so something you might notice on this video is that it's very bright. Uh, I've tried to change the color vibrancy and stuff like that to try and make it so that if I go in a dark area, you guys can actually see. Um, Talos, the guy that actually made this, pointed out in one of my previous videos that um, it's actually just really dark and you guys can't see a thing. So um, I'm going to change it to nighttime and we'll see what happens. All right, so there we go. This is pitch black. And in fact, I can't see a thing on my screen. <laughs> um, I can see all the lights and I can just about see the plane. However, you guys should be able to see the full plane. Um, if you guys can't, let me know in the comments down below. But um, I think this looks good. We are not going to fly around like that, though. So it's completely fine. Anyway, um, we need to transport passengers and cargo. And it actually looks like they're out in the middle of the ocean. So, I mean, this could be interesting. All right, I've changed the uh, I've changed the thing again, so you guys might see it a little bit differently. Um, I just looked over the video and it looked like my plane was shiny, so uh, hopefully the plane isn't shiny anymore. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and land over there. It looks like we're going to the refinery. Yes, we are. We're gonna try to pick up these people and their cargo. Now, the the main thing about this is their cargo might not fit through this little door. So if you wanted to edit this this flying boat, what you could do is add a massive door, like a custom door. Uh, to the back of this uh, where the floor is and um, You'd be able to store cargo in this thing too. Yeah, just something we could change in fact at the end of this video I will change it a little bit and we'll see what we can make it look like. Okay, so how do we even land this thing? <laughs> that is the next question. Here we go. We're going in for a landing. Let's see how this works We're just gonna fall out the sky pretty much. Here we go and Just land it like this. There we go easy peasy landing and we'll leave it around here I guess that's actually fine. Cool. Okay, so this just isn't gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and use this cargo and these people, but um, that won't fit through the door, so we got an issue. All right, so uh, I, I see an issue. <laughs> I see an issue. The plane is uh, circling around in a circle. I, I don't know why it's doing this. 
Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get on board anyway. I've got the dudes following me. I've got the box with me. Uh, and we're gonna hope for the best here. What I'm gonna do as well is I'm just gonna turn off the engine so that, um, it stops. Oh, that's why. Because I didn't actually throttle all the way down. Anyway, these dudes have made it on board. So let's go ahead and put them in some seats. There we go. Very nice. And that is actually very good. Okay, cool. Uh, now I just need the box. <laughs> let's go back and get the box. Here we go. Uh, and we're gonna attempt to actually take this with us. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll just put it like, we'll put it on the back. Okay, kind of like that. We'll jump up and get on. Okay, very nice. And we'll pull it towards us like this. All right, we need to take off very gently. That thing is not gonna be able to come up in the air with us. It's just not gonna work, but we'll try. So here we go. Yep, okay. Uh, good. <laughs> okay, good. Let's throttle up fully. There we go. Box is still on. Box is, box is sliding. Box is gone. Okay, we can't take the cargo. Never mind. But, um, yeah. Okay, so, that is a limitation of this plane. Let's go ahead and try and fix that when we land. You know, this plane actually makes it very easy to to actually deliver people, too. In terms of, well, I say delivering people, I mean just, like, throwing them out. So, you can actually put them on the back of your plane, which is a nice... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what just happened? A nice little staging area. I can't actually get outside. I'm stuck. Wait, where's the dude gone? I think they've gone. Alright, let's... Oh! Wait, they fly around. If I, like, try and throw them out the back, they, they fly around a little bit. Oh, there we go. Outside, cool. And you? Outside as well, probably. Come up. Come up. I think he's on my back. No. Okay, come up. Eh. All right, now close the door and push him out. Push him out. Go on. I think I'm stuck in the ground. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem okay. <laughs> that does not seem fine. Okay, here we go. Ready? There we go. Okay, see you later. I don't know where the other guy went. I actually did. Oh, you're downstairs. How'd you get down here? Okay, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what the plane is like diving and like flying up again. That's really weird. I don't know why that look at it. I don't know why that's happening. I actually don't know why that's happening. Have we lost someone inside this thing? I've turned the stabilizer off. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. What just happened? Okay, I've turned the stabilizer back on. I think it's just this this person is bouncing around and that's making it. Yeah, okay. AI sometimes make, make planes and boats work really weirdly. I think the weights of them are really strange. Anyway, you stay there. Okay, and I'll just roll the plane all the way over. And you'll fall off. That's it. All right, cool. So instead of transporting them, I've just moved them and, and, and killed them. Yes, cool. Anyway, we're going to land and we're going to modify this plane. Here we go. We're going in for a landing. Yes, definitely a landing. We could just go ahead and just grab it out the sky and that's it. So, what I think this thing could do, do with um, is actually, like, a bigger cargo door if I can make one somewhere. That would be amazing. Oh, what is this? What is that piece? I don't know what that is. Is it a microcontroller? What is it? Oh, it is actually modded. That's a modified piece right there. Oh, no, it's a wing, isn't it? Is that a wing? I think it is. Yeah, it's a wing. I see. Uh, so, to make it lighter, there's a wing there. Okay, so... I was thinking we should add a cargo door, but at the same time, if I can't actually add a cargo door, then I can't add a cargo door. What if we don't use the downstairs on this thing? That's uh, that's an idea, I guess. Uh, we could delete this up to there. We can delete this down to here. Whoa, not all of it. Okay, delete that, and then delete this. And then if we did want to do this, we could add this piece in here like this. Okay, that's a sealed sealed place. Okay, so then... We could delete the roof at the back a little bit like this. And that'll be a, a little place for cargo. And that would totally work because it still it still floats, I think. Yeah, it's... Oh, <laughs> maybe not, actually. It doesn't float because the pilot seat is like in the ground. If we if we fill this in, uh, then, then it'll float. Okay, so we'll fill this in like this. There we go. Uh, and I need to fill in whatever's going on here, too. If I can. So delete this. Delete that piece as well. Alright, we'll fill that in. Like this. And... 
that is filled in. Okay, very good. At the front, we need to do a similar thing. So delete this piece, put this in, and that is good enough for me. I think it'll float now. There we go. Let's check it out. It is floating. All right, very cool. Uh, we've got space for cargo in the back. Very nice. I haven't changed this so it looks good. I've just changed it for functionality, uh, and that totally works. Cool. And now I'm going to paint it red. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to paint it red. I'm sorry uh, if you guys don't like this, but it's going to be red. There we go. Red wings. Actually, maybe just red wings. That looks kind of interesting. Looks kind of cool. And we'll have, like, um, red struts, too. Because why not? I think that looks kind of interesting. There we go. Meow. Red struts, red wings, and that is all we're going to do. All right, very cool. I do need to do this on the other side, though, because I'm not mirroring, but that's okay. There we go. Cool. You know, that does kind of mean we don't really need this door here, but um, we're going to keep the door there just in case, uh, and it's going to be a barrier anyway, so that is actually completely fine. To be fair as well, we could move it back and have a bigger cargo area, but what we've got is actually really good. So if we spawn this in and we go to fly, does it work? Actually, do we have any... We might have a box over here. If I could grab a box and I could put it in, let's see if we can fly around without losing it. I feel like they've gotten rid of all of the random containers that we used to be able to throw around. I don't know where they are. I don't think there's any here. I don't actually see any. We can't pick up any of those things. Never mind. All right, cool. Well, that's kind of strange. But anyway, uh, this plane would definitely hold something. So how about we fly back over to wherever I lost the crate. And uh, we'll try and put that in and then take off and see if we can fly with it on board. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Okay, engines on. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Uh, with the modifications we've made, which is just paint, and um, deleting the roof and the floor. Alright, cool, yeah, we're good. So it does make the downstairs kind of useless, but at the same time, um, it was sort of a little bit useless already. So, it's fine. I'm sure this is fine. Okay, so there is actually one more modification I want to make to this thing as well. So let's see if we can grab this, um, oh, where is it? <laughs> I'm going to have to find it because it fell out while we were flying. So we're going to have to find this box. But, um, yeah, there's one more modification that I would make to this thing to make it maybe a little bit more useful. Maybe a little bit more useful. Although it is a plane, so it is already pretty useful because they're, like, the most efficient things in this game. But anyway, uh, where's this box at? There it is. I see it. Okay, here we go. Land on the ground. Yep. Here we go. Smack into it, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to go grab that, bring it back over here, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, so we got the box on board. Let's go ahead and chuck it inside. There we go. It's in the little storage place. And I think it... Oh, it might might work. <laughs> I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting it to get stuck on the uh, chair so much. But if I drop it there, then push it to the back so it doesn't really fall out when I go, uh, it might be fine. Let's go ahead and take off and see how this works. As long as we don't go upside down, I don't see a problem. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah, we take off. We've got the cargo on board and it is fine. All right, epic. Okay, so now that we know it's uh, it can actually carry cargo, we don't need it to be here anymore. We don't need that cargo because uh, we've already killed all of the people and they're all over the island. But what I did want to do is I kind of figured that, I don't know, it'd be nice to have either a water cannon on this thing or at least a point where we could put out fires so we can land next to a boat that's on fire and actually put it out. So... What I'm thinking is more useful is actually a hose um, like this. We could just put it on the back uh, somewhere like this. There we go. We could pop it there like that. We could put a button next to it too. There we go. And that is for the hose. There we go. So we could turn on the pump. And then if we go downstairs and we get ourselves a pump. There we go. We just need to shove in. I think actually one of these ones does work. There we go. And is this in or out? That's out. Okay. Put it in the other way around. There we go, very nice. And put a fluid port down here somewhere. Oh, I need to find I need to find a place where it's just one piece. There we go. Uh, and we do this to the front. Here we go. Pipe. We'll angle it and we'll just take it forwards until that point. There we go. Like this. Because downstairs isn't actually very useful in my version anyway. Um, there we go. Grab this and go downstairs. Sorry, go down. There we go. And drag it through the floor. There we go. So, because this piece is going to be in the water whenever we start firing, it's going to be fine. Here we go. Fluid port. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Yes. And make it this color, which is gray-ish. <laughs> it's gray-ish. Let me paint that. There we go. Uh, that should work. So, 
We attach this to there. All right, very good. We attach uh, electricity to both of these. There we go from the breaker. Very good. And we also need a hose. So we'll just delete this. All right, we'll get ourselves a hose. And we'll pop it in on the back. And that's it. There we go. Very good. Very good indeedy. All right, cool. So if we spawn this in and we jump over there, this is now a little bit more versatile. It's kind of cool. Anyway, jump on board. Whoa, I fell off. I fell off, but not to worry. There we go. Grab this, put it on there. Do this, press B. And you might want to get the bigger pump. <laughs> you might want to get the bigger pump. But, um, yeah, totally works. Okay, I've changed it for the bigger pump. Uh, this is probably what you need, actually. Uh, and I was thinking that to begin with, but then I was thinking, what's the point of the normal pumps if they can't do that? But whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and shove this on here like this. Whoop, there we go. And we just need the electricity again. Here we go. There we go. Give the electricity to all of those and the breaker. And that should be it. We should be good to go. All right, ready? Go ahead and attach this under here. Press the button. And pr oh, I didn't, I didn't attach the button. This is something I always do when I make videos, is I just forget random little things. And, um, yeah, so I'm sorry. But anyway, it should work now. And there we go. All right, cool. That is awesome. That is actually really, really cool. Uh, you just attach this onto here, and woo! There we go, cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, if you guys want to check this plane out and edit it for yourselves, it will be linked down below, and you guys can check it out. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.